Hello friends. In this video part, we will learn how to display all user from MySQL database and then after we will also display which user is online or active in this chat system and which user is offline. In previous part, we have learned how to load chat message data from MySQL table and display on web page. So when user is login into system, then they can able to view previous chat history. Now we have add one more feature under this chat system and in this system, we will display user status like user is online or offline under this system application by using PHP script. Now let's start discussing this topic. So first we have open chat room .php file and for load chat user data here we want to include chat user class file. For this here we have write require statement and under this we have write database folder name slash chat user .php class file. Below this we have write dollar user object variable is equal to new chat user class. So here we have create object of this chat user class. And now we can use method of this class. So fetch all user data. Here we have write dollar user data variable is equal to dollar user object with get user all data method. This method will return all user data from chat user table. Now we have go to chat user class and here we have make get user all data method. This method will fetch all user data from chat user table. Under this method, we have write dollar query variable is equal to select star from chat user table. This query will fetch all user data from chat user table. Below this query, we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar this with connect variable with prepare statement and under this we have write dollar query variable. This statement will make query for execution. Now we want to execute above query, so we have write dollar statement variable with execute method. This method will execute above select query. Next. We want to get query execution result. So here we have write dollar data variable is equal to dollar statement variable with fetch all method. And under this we have write do class with fetch associative method. This method will return data in PHP array format, which we have store under this dollar data variable. Lastly, under this method, we have write return statement with dollar data variable. It will return user data, which is an output of this method. Now we have go to chatroom.php file, and here we want to load user list data below login user profile data. So here we have create one division tag with class is equal to bootstrap card and margin top three class under this tag we have create another division tag with class is equal to bootstrap four card header function and between this tag we have write user list it will make this card header with user list as heading next we have again create one more division tag with class is equal to bootstrap four card body class with ID is equal user list. So it will make card body and between this we can list user data with online and offline status. And under this card body division tag, we have create one more division tag with class is equal to bootstrap for list group and list group flush class. Now here we want to display all user data. So here we have write if statement and under condition 
we have write count function, and under this function, we have write dollar user data variable value is greater than zero. This condition will check if this variable has some data, then it will execute if block of code. And under this block, we have write for each loop, and under condition, we have write dollar user data variable as dollar key variable with dollar user variable. So by using this loop, we can fetch user data one by one. Under this loop, first we have write dollar icon variable is equal to HTML italic tag, and here we have write class is equal to font awesome library circle class and bootstrap for library text danger class, so it will make circle icon with red color, which we will use for display offline status. After this, here we have write if statement, and under condition, we have write dollar user variable, with user login status column variable value is equal to login, if this condition true, that means user is login into this chat system, and it will execute if block of code. And under this block, we have write dollar icon variable is equal to italic tag with class is equal to font awesome circle class with bootstrap for library text success class. So it will make green color circle icon, which we will use for display user online status. Now we do not want to display login user data under this user list, so here we have write dollar user with user id variable value is not equal to dollar login user id variable value, here we have store login user id value, under this dollar login user id variable, so this condition will check, if this variable value is not equal to, this dollar login user id variable value, then it will execute if block of code. And under this loop, we have write echo statement, with we have write HTML anchor tag, with class is equal to bootstrap for list group item, and list group item action class. And between this tag, we want to first display user profile image, so here we have write image tag with source is equal to dollar user profile variable, it will display user profile image from images folder. Next we want to display user name. So here we have span tag, with class is equal margin left one bootstrap for class, and between this, we have write dollar user name variable, so it will display user name details. After this, we want to display user online and offline status, so here we have write span tag, with class is equal to, bootstrap for library float write class. And between this span tag, we have write dollar icon variable, so it will display green icon or red icon, if user is online, then it will display green icon and if user is offline then it will display user is offline. So here our code is ready, now we want to check output in browser. So friends, here we can see login page of this chat application, so here we have enter login details. Now we have click on login button, after click on login button, here we can see page has redirect to chatroom.php page. Here on this page, we can see login user profile details with logout button, and below it, we can use user list data, and here we can see only user data, 
This is because currently under this system, there is only two user data, so here one is login, so here only other user data has been displayed. And here, after this user name, we can see red color circle icon, that means this user is offline, now we have go to another browser. And here we have enter other user login details. After fill login details, we have click on login button, and here page redirect to chat room page, and here we can see Donna Hubba in user list area. And here we can see green color icon display with Donna Hubba name, that means this user is online. Now we have go to Donna Hubba page, and here we have refresh this page, and now here we can see John Smith status which has been displayed online with green color circle icon. Now we have go to John Smith account, and here we have click on logout button, and after click on logout button, here page redirect to login page. So now we have go to Donna Hubba page, and here we have refresh page, and now John Smith status display offline with red color icon, so this way we can display user is online or offline, under this chat application, by using PHP script. In next part, we will add some advanced feature under this WebSocket chat application, so here we have stopped this video, and we will be meet in next video, and lastly thank you for watching this video.